So the other day, the king and queen of Belgium came to Canada, and the Canadian government wanted to do something nice for them. So they decorated this old tree that the old queen of Belgium had planted in Canada many years ago with a Canadian flag and a Belgian flag. But unfortunately, someone was insufficiently educated on their flags of the world, so instead of using the Belgian flag, they used the German flag. This caused a big kerfuffle in the press, but you have to have some sympathy for the Canadians. I mean, a lot of flags look basically the same, they're just three strips of color in slightly different orders, it's hard to remember which one goes with which country. That is, unless you use some special flag memory tricks. Here are a couple that I use. So to begin, the German flag goes black, red, and yellow. The way I remember this is that the Germans started off evil, and black is the evil color, and then they eventually became good and happy like a yellow smiley face. But obviously it was a transition, and so red is sort of the middle color between these two extremes. Now for the Belgians, the first thing to remember is that the Belgians are a very uptight people, and that is why the colors in their flag stand upright. And what are Belgians best known for? Waffles, of course. The Belgian flag thus tells you the story of how you make waffles. The first time you try to make waffles, they come out completely burnt, but the second time, they are perfectly golden. So then the third time, you make them with strawberries. Black, yellow, red. The next biggest flag challenge is the France-Russia-Holland trifecta. Everyone has trouble keeping these three apart. The way you remember Russia's flag is by remembering that Russia is a hellish nightmare country. I actually learned this trick from a Russian person, so it's okay for me to say that. So in Russia, they have white clouds, blue skies, and a sea of blood. The clouds are highest in the sky, so white comes first, then a middle layer of blue for the sky, and then the sea of blood on the ground. Easy, right? For France, let me ask you a question. What are the most American colors in the world? Red, white, and blue, right? But we all know the French hate Americans. So in order to rebel, they made a flag that goes blue, white, and red. It's backwards. Take that, you uh, stupid Americans. For the flag of Holland, we remember the famous Dutch tulips. The tops of tulips are always red, right? And what do tulips grow out of? Water. Nice, frothy water. Now, of course, it is also important to remember that the flags of Holland and France, despite being similar, go in different directions. The way you remember this is that France is a country with tall buildings and the Eiffel Tower, whereas Holland is a flat country with nothing. Now, the Italian, Bulgarian, and Hungarian flags are tricky as well. The Italian flag goes green, white, red. The way I remember this is by remembering Italians' favorite food in the whole world, tomatoes. Tomatoes start green and end red. The Hungarian flag is harder because we tend to not have a lot of thoughts about Hungary. But we do all get hungry, and when we get hungry, what do we like to have? A nice flat plate of food. And we put the grossest foods at the bottom of the plate, which is green vegetables. And then we cover those up with a layer of white rice. And then we finish it off with a layer of ketchup at the top. Green, white, red. You're not hungry anymore. The flag of Bulgaria, meanwhile, is the flag of some faraway country, where they have green trees topped by white snow and a sea of blood. It is still in Eastern Europe, after all. A flag that is similar to the flag of Italy and Hungary is the flag of Ireland. I think a lot of people know this flag pretty well. It goes green, white, and orange. But it is easy to get mixed up with the flag of Côte d'Ivoire, or the Ivory Coast. Fun fact, in 1985, Côte d'Ivoire officially said they do not want people to translate their country's name out of French into English anymore. But anyway, you remember which one is which by remembering what Irish people love more than anything else in the world, which is green shamrocks. So of course the Irish put green as the first color in their flag. So hopefully this little tutorial was helpful to you. Studies have shown that one of the best ways to memorize things is to come up with little stupid stories or sayings about the things you're trying to remember. Apparently our brains have an easier time remembering stupid things than sensible things because stupid things tend to be funny or annoying or offensive, and those kind of emotional triggers are what help memories stay put. So let us now do a quick quiz to see if you have learned anything. Which one of these is the German flag? This one, right? They used to be evil, but then they got good and happy. Which one of these is the flag of France? Yes, blue, white, and red. Take that, Americans. Which is the Hungarian flag? Yes, ketchup covering rice, rice covering veggies. Which one is the flag of Belgium? Yes, burnt waffles come first, then golden waffles, then strawberry waffles. Which one is the Italian flag? It's this one. Green tomatoes first, then red tomatoes. And if we change the red to orange, it would be... Yes, that's right, Ireland, where they always put the shamrocks first. And lastly, can you spot the Russian flag? That's right, white clouds, blue sky, sea of blood. 
But if we change the blue to green, it would be... Bulgaria, the other Eastern European country with a sea of blood. Apologies if I'm offending any Eastern Europeans. You can always just imagine it's a sea of raspberry jam. I would like to know if you guys have any tricks for remembering which flag goes with which country. I know that when you're a little kid, it's common for people to teach you stupid sayings to remember flag colors. I'd like to hear you share some of them in the comments, and if I get enough good ones, maybe I can make a follow-up video. Because remember, my only goal is to help you learn. Mm -hmm.